My name is Tony and I'm with Clean Browsing. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure your iOS device with the Clean Browsing service. To do this, on the right hand side, I am emulating my iOS device uh, so that you can see what I have installed. Then I'm also logged into the Clean Browsing platform so you can see where I'm going to pull the configuration files from. Um, the first thing you want to do if you have not done so already is create a new profile or if you're going to use an existing one, that's fine. So you see here, I'm going to use the iPhone profile. I'm going to go to the network page. On the network page, I'm going to have a bunch of information. The first thing I want to do is make sure that I have the profile config set. So you'll see, I'll come and I'll select my iPhone profile, and you'll see the information associated with this. Then I'll go back to my iOS device. Um, I will install the Clean Browsing app from the App Store. So if you simply just go to the App Store and you see Clean Browsing, there it is. You can just open it. Um, when you open it, uh, it's going to ask you to agree to the privacy policies, which pretty much means we don't collect anything unless you want us to. Uh, agree and collect. Uh, you're going to set a passcode. Now, this is a passcode that's different than your administrative password. So this is going to help prevent any changes from being made. So let's go ahead and set the passcode. Okay. Uh, so, oops, I think I messed up. Okay. Now it's going to ask you if you're going to allow VPN configuration. If you do not allow this, it will not work. The way we do iOS is we route towards a local VPN that we create and we, we intercept all interfaces. So we, you, if you want to use Clean Browsing app, which is what we recommend, you're going to want to allow that. This is going to be the code for the device, not the pin that you just set. Okay, so now you can see that um, I have a couple of different options here. You have the ability to select the security filter, the family filter, the adult filter. Each of these are the free filters that you can find on Clean Browsing, and it's free to everyone. If you have a paid account, you're going to want to switch over to the custom filter. Simply select the custom filter option. You're going to see that it asks you for a token. The most common question we get is, where do we get this token? Well, Easiest way to get the token is right here on your network page. So all I did was uh, log into my dashboard, select your network, and then select my profile. And then here's my code. So let's go ahead and type that in and see what happens. So uh, 6729-alpha-7-alpha-bravo. I'm going to go ahead and save the custom DNS. <clears throat> and now you're going to see Clean Browsing has now been activated. And you just give it a little bit of time, this DNX inactive should switch. And you start, start seeing all the activity. And there you go. I'm now activated. And if you look, all the requests coming through are actually coming from the iPhone profile. And that's it. That's all you need to do. Now, if somebody wants to disconnect, if they come in here and disconnect, they'll have to enter the code that you set on the uh, app itself, not the device. And this is really good for parents, or this is very good for accountability, etc. Um, so let's go ahead and get out of this, and that's it. Um, and with that, Clean Browsing has now been now been configured on your uh, device. Thank you very much. And if you have any questions, uh, please don't hesitate to uh, ping us at support at cleanbrowsing.org. Or um, you can also go to our community.cleanbrowsing.org and simply search iOS. Uh, and you'll see the guide is there as well. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.